Hello, welcome to Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee. I am Mark Brown. A reading from Colossians chapter 3. Let the peace of Christ <clears throat> rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let me read you a few numbers. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you make at least $30,000 a year, congratulations. Your income is 10 times the global median and in the top 5% of incomes worldwide. If you are older than 35, congratulations. For much of human history, many people have died before age 30. If you have a steady income, live in a democratic country, and have a college degree, you live in a rarefied group in the history of humanity. If you enjoy good health, have good friends, and take nice vacations, you, we, should drop down, uh, down on our knees and thank God. I'll bet you're not on your knees yet, though. We live extraordinarily blessed lives, even those of us who may be below the uh, average income um, in our country, in our neighborhood. And yet, do we find it difficult to be thankful? I mean, I know we just passed the National Day of Thanksgiving, and we were encouraged to be thankful many times, but is it difficult to do? I always had sympathy for my pastor when I was a kid. I loved him, and I listened to my, his sermons pretty well, I mean, as much as a grade school child does. But I always had the sense that on Thanksgiving, he didn't quite know where to go. He would remind us of all the things we have, even, I think, sometimes give us a scolding that we lived so well. But how do you conjure up Thanksgiving when you really don't feel that? Perhaps the problem, if there is a problem, is that we separate the material blessings which are so abundant from the spiritual blessings which are also abundant, even more abundant, but may not always be as obvious. Notice how St. Paul connected the peace of Christ with being thankful. I may find it difficult to be thankful because while I have many things, there is something I particularly want that I'm not getting, not as quickly as I'd like or not as good a quality as I would want. And so I may lose focus on all the other things I do have and be fixated on that. But the peace of Christ gives us a broader perspective because the peace of Christ is rooted in the love of God in which Christ gave himself for us so that we would be his father's sons and daughters again. He put himself in our place to pay the penalty for all we've done wrong. And that gives us a kind of peace, if you want to say, sense of well-being and certainty, which goes beyond the day-to-day -day wishes for more things, frustrations with what isn't right, and occasional big letdowns. We are very blessed people. And as we were reminded many years ago in the Catechism, not by our own works, but all by his grace. So, be thankful because of the peace of God you have in Christ. We pray, Lord Jesus, help us to be more thankful people. Help us to put our focus not on what we can see around us and what we may wish we could see in addition, but the larger blessings that you've given us, given us as your brothers and sisters through faith in you. Help us to demonstrate a thankful outlook to others and to rejoice with them when their blessings are also great and they notice this. In your name we pray, amen. <clears throat>